beside you But it feels like you're a world away We used to talk for hours Now you never have that much to say to me Could it be that there's another love That you'd rather see When I try to hold you You never seem to have the time When you see you love me You never seem to reach your eyes I can see you changing I can read between the lines If it's really over What will I do with my life? I can feel your love just slipping through my hands on to love. Trying to hold your arms like holding on to sand on to love. Oh, Losing you is more than I can stand on to love. I can feel your love just slipping through my hands Never saw it coming uh-huh. Now it feels so different when we touch I know our love is real, but now, now it feels like you need more than I can give. Can we find a way to start again? Where do we begin? When I try to hold you, you never seem to have the time. When you see you love me, you never seem to reach your eyes. I can see you changing. I can read between the lines. If it's really over, what will I do with my life? I can feel your love just slipping through my head.
Oh yeah, Facebook, what's up? Instagram, what's going on? Twitter, Twitch. Welcome. up, share this up, share this up. Tonight the system is at Melendez. Premiere. Who's up in here? Chris Yost, what's going on? Nismo, what's going on? Shouts going out to MDW Crespo, DJ Casper, Smiley, Jennifer Garcia, Chris Yost, Yost, Yost. DJ Orlando, what's going on? T the Teach, what's up, baby? Mark Birch, what's going on? Mike, what up, baby?
Maria Diaz, what's going on? Shouts going out to Pisa de la Boricua. Entertainment in the house. This is what we got going on February 5th through the 11th. Let me tell you. Twenty twenty three is gonna be something else. February fifth through the eleventh. That freestyle cruise. It's gonna be very magical. <laughs> so many OGs. The urban side OGs as well. It's gonna be fun. And then I'll let her make the announcement of what's going on in November. That's going to be really big. Nalga Music. Willis. Eric in the house. Eric138, my bro. He's feeling much better. Victor Casper, what's up, baby? Leslie Jill. Joseph Julian. Shouts going out to my man, DJ John Doe. This is what's going on. It's Toy Drive on Friday. Check that out. Mark Diaz, what's up? Geo Med, what's going on? All right. Shed us up, shed us up. Welcome to the DJ Lucho Live Show. Martinez, what's up, baby? This Thursday, please catch my boys DJ Smiley and Victor DJ Casper Havana Cafe this Thursday, Boogie Down Bronx Havana Cafe. Audrey, what's up? Evan, what's going on, Evan? Eastside, what's up, baby?
Level 13. It's going down February 3rd. Orlando, Florida, we coming for you. That's right, this legend will be there. Miss Eileen Flores, live, level 13. The sister Lizette Melendez will be there. Na Asia, C Bank, Jenny Renee, and another legend. Tina B. Then we got the boys, Jesse B. My man Sammy Zoom. Coro and my brother George Lamont. It is going down. Level 13, Orlando, Florida, February 3rd, 2023. Stay tuned. Tickets quick, let's go. will be there live level 13 baby tell a friend tell a friend I think we haven't seen Eileen in over 30 years level 13 Orlando Florida let's go gentlemen welcome to the DJ Lucho live show are you ready let me see those hearts let me see those hearts the sisters here Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my sister, Lizette Melendez. What up, what up, my people? What is going on, girl? What's up, what's up? (laughs) You've been busy, huh? You know what? I can't complain. I can't complain. Um, I'm busy. I am healthy. And I'm focused. 
That's it. I can hear it from what you gave me. You know what's crazy? When I say world premiere, right? It's like, it's really a world premiere because I just got the record like right now type thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, I literally got the record, uh, I don't know, like maybe two hours ago or something. And uh, Yeah, you're right. I hear it. I hear it. And uh, I'm very honored because, uh, you know, we did have a talk the other day. And, uh, you know, it's not a freestyle record, which I love because you always give us that versatility. And uh, I'm going to tell you that I love it. It's a remake that a lot of people cannot do. And the way you did it, I was like floored because it reminded me of the original. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? And I didn't do it with that intention. And I'm really careful with remixes and remakes because I have a distinctive voice. And sometimes there's certain songs that no matter how much I love them, don't work for me then, um, because you, of the tone. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I'm really careful. But this song, I grew up with it. You know, and I always remember those vocals that she did were very theatrical, you know, yep. um, and I loved it. And I loved the fact that it was just one of those attitude type of songs. Yeah. Um, so I said, you know what? Let me give it a go. And I didn't do it with the intention of re- releasing it. I just did it with the intention of just having fun and seeing how I would sound doing it. The way it should and be it just it snowballed into something else. And let me tell you something. You hit it out the park. You hit it out the park. Shots going out to MDW Crespo. I know he worked with you on this. And yes. Uh, and the legend. And the funny part, you know, the funny part about it is that he he's very dramatic, <laughs> and I say that in a loving way. Yeah. Um, he's over the top. He's um, he's he's an emotional. He knows. He he has, you know, the his hands on every emotion possible. And yep. when we did it. We just did it for fun. I did it at home. I recorded the vocal and I sent it to him. And he was like, bitch. And I was like, what? And he, you know, I didn't think he was going to like it. I thought he was going to say, ah, you know, let's just have, you know, have fun with it. But he just encourages me in a way that it brings out like that, that kind of diva-ish that it takes to do these type of records. I don't have a soulful Martha Wash voice, but I can hold my own because I'm already comfortable with my voice, you know? And when you find your voice and you know what your what your levels are and what you can do what works for you your strengths and your weaknesses then you can play around a little bit but he was a great guide throughout this whole thing because you know he pushed me you know he was like be dramatic girl be dramatic bring the drama yeah, and, and you know we just, just have fun with it and this is what it is and just by his beats just let me play like about 16 bars of his beats <laughs> He just brings that to the floor. Like, yeah. something about MDW's beats is like, they're like, you know, it reminds me of a downtown in a club in a hot, sweaty Junior Vasquez room. You know what I'm saying? That's what right, it reminds right. me of. And uh, shout out to morning, MDW. In the morning, exactly. Right. <laughs> Shout out to MDW Crespo. Let's not get into it yet, because I want to talk to you. So, what is, uh, we got a lot of things coming up. Yeah, we have we do. Uh, we do. February in Orlando, Florida, uh, level 13. We have that going on. Uh, we just uh, did Havana Cafe a couple of weeks ago. That was fun. Shout going out to Toby, Havana Cafe crew. Uh, it was a great night. You know, uh, that was a great idea, and uh, yeah. and, it, and it came out beautiful. Like you know, uh, yep. people enjoyed it, and uh, we just had a great time at Havana. And uh, then moving forward, where where you at next? Are you performing anywhere before the year's over? Yeah, I have, well, I have a private party next week. Mm-hmm. I just did Connecticut Saturday, and I have some things that are not 100% concrete for, for the remainder of the year, but yep. 2023 is looking good because I'm basically focusing on getting into the, the club circuit m- market, you know, with Hot Shot. It's more of a house crowd. Um, 
And of course, I want to bring my my fans along with me. Family, we grew up together. My fans yeah. aren't even fans; they're like family because we grew up together. Yep. Um, so I'm hoping they follow me on this journey because it gives me an opportunity to, you know, just to do something different. Which is, you know, house music is not too different from, you know, freestyle. Of course, it not. is, and it's not, you know, because they're both danceable. The only thing with freestyle is that the melodies are a little bit more heartfelt, and they got that little, you know, certain something that only freestyle has. Yep. Um, but this one record, along with others, even the remixes that I did with you, you know, yeah. you did um, Stop in the Name of Love for me. You did that mm -hmm. crazy mix that I love that I never really had a chance to promote. Um, you. you did Stay. Yeah. You did that um, yeah, Soul Makusa type Makusa. vibe yeah. that people don't know about that we got to continue to push. Yeah. So I'm hoping to continue, you know, to, you know, to expand, expand my brand so Global. I can Globally. be able to perform these songs, you know? Globally, globally. Yeah, and, uh, man, of course. And uh, February, we have uh, Orlando, Florida, like we said, level 13. That's going to be a major show. Then after that, we jump on the cruise. And the cruise, I was just going to say, after that, we're going to do the cruise, mm -hmm. which is what, a, like a five-day cruise. Yeah. Um, and those are fun because the last cruise that we did was ridiculously yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, we had such a I great time. I don't remember laughing that hard since I was like 15. <laughs> Um, for people, Forget people that don't it. know, we were in the elevator doing Soul Sonic Force. Yeah, remember that? And then we Lucho went. was spinning his bars <laughs> like I never heard him spin his bars. And then, and then, and then we, we went into we fun. went into that karaoke room like we owned it. We owned it, and we just went oh, straight to the middle. God. We just started doing that karaoke. That was so fun. We had so we much had fun. so much fun. We did, we did, and that's what it was about. It was just about like, like family. Everybody just got along. There was no bougie yep. bullshit um there were no clicks there was none of that going on that. everybody was just like just together just yeah, to chill it was just a big so, family <laughs> everybody that was on the cruise was just we were just hanging out that's that's what it well that's the great thing about it shouts going yeah, out to yeah. priscilla la boricua ortiz always showing love and uh priscilla right. got some big things going on next year in november like uh i can't disclose it because she didn't tell me to say anything but uh, she got a big one coming, big big one, and uh, good for her. She deserves it. She yeah. works. She she hustles. You know. Yeah, and uh, so. you know, listen. Um, I believe there's seven cabins left. I believe that there is. That cruise is sold out. Seven cabins left. Get a La Boricua Ortiz, Priscilla La Boricua Ortiz. She's on the chat, and also, if you're not gonna join us on the cruise, join us. At level 13 in Orlando, Florida, February 3rd. That's on a Friday. Angel Vendrell, level 13. That's going to be, listen, Tina B is going to be there. We haven't seen Tina B in how long? Oh, my God, and yeah. Eileen wow. Flores, too. You know, we, we're, uh, it's going to be a great, great uh, thing going on at level 13. Great event. But without any further ado, Liz, I have a couple of mixes here. And, okay. uh, Tell me which one you want to hear first. Um, well, Tony Moran ended up getting wind of the song. He loved it. He actually presented it to the guy that wrote the song, um, yep. which he did the, he did the original. And I, I felt a little bit, you know, nervous because I didn't want, you know, they're going to compare the two. And he was the originator, the one that produced it. Yeah. And he heard it and he loved it. Um, so it encouraged Tony Moran to take on the project. And Tony Moran did a fabulous mix along with mike lorello and that's one of the mixes that are really like popping on the on the you know single so you can check that out yes it's tony moran yes the latin yeah. rascals tony moran yes the tony latin moran. rascal that's right let's play that one first and then we're gonna go into mdw afterwards cool okay let's go world premiere baby world premiere let's go onto the screen for a second this is the world premiere Hot shot. Lizette Melendez.
you're listening to the world premiere of Lizette Melendez Hot Shot. This one is produced by Tony Moran. December 15th, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hot Shot Tony Moran, Mike Lorello, the diva Lizette Melendez on vocals. It is coming out December 15th, correct, babe? December 15th. Make some noise. This is hot. Shots going out to Tony Moran, the Latin rascal with Mike Lorello on this production. Very well done. Very, very well done. I like that. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Liz, you sound amazing. Thank you. You know what? I appreciate that. You know, I recorded the vocals myself and that's the hardest challenge when you're recording your own vocals because, you know, you got to stop, you got to record, then you got to judge them, then you got to make sure that you like them. After everything is said and done, I always hate my vocals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I could have done better. I could have done better. 
dope, but um, dope, it, dope. for me, I did the best that I could doing it myself. You know, um, it was during uh, during COVID and that you know that time that everybody was pretty much you know still like touch and go. It was like the ending of it, but um, yeah, yeah. I did it at home, man. I did it for fun, and I inspire all women out there. Um, you know, this is a man driven industry, basically a man driven world, and you know, all together, you know, um, women were stepping it up. You know, you see a lot more uh, female bosses and they're taking a, a hold of their own careers. Um, and I'm not shy about, you know, trying to do my own productions and trying to do my own thing, you know, as a female and having DJs, you know, like you that support me is, you know, it goes a mile, um, you know, miles, miles. It goes on forever. And that's why I always give it up to my DJs, because without DJs, you, who's going to hear the music? You know what I mean? Always did, and we appreciate you for that, Liz, because... No, you guys are... I wanted to be a DJ, Always say that. You know, when I was little, when I was younger, I should have learned how to DJ, because I think it's such a talent to, you know, be... Like, I was watching you um, the other night, you know, and I'm like, yo, you just brought... The people just... You move them. You know what I mean? And it's... You know what the the people want to hear. You go by... Whatever club you're at, whatever scene, you know how to mold yourself to what, and you feel what the people need and want to hear, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. that takes the talent to you be know, able to keep people on their feet. You know what it is? It's like uh, when I walk into a place, um, I look at people. Like I look at the bars, I look at people's faces, and I try to put that number to them. Okay, they can right. be into this and that. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get up there, you know, you try to do everything. You know. Uh, remembering all those faces that you've seen outside you know what i'm saying so that's one thing that you know what i'm saying that i do when i first walk into places and it works for me you know 95 percent of the time it works for me but and then you know you when you up there you switch it around and see you know where they basically laid at you know what i'm saying and once once you get them that's it you know what i'm saying and it's also cool. about the blend you know because sometimes djs they go in they reggaeton to like you know a house record and the tempo is completely different yeah. and if you don't know how to blend those two together it's like not, eh, what I the hell you know next those. break and like what the you know and it's a matter of just getting them from one vibe to the other and yeah, it's a talent all. you know you know what you're doing you love you know what you do and you're, you're people type of dude you know your surroundings <laughs> and you know i was watching you i was like damn he does his <laughs> thing that's why i'm always like i go to your events whenever Thanks. i can um I appreciate even that. havana's it was a fun night you know we took pictures we hung out mm-hmm. and those intimate places sometimes are the best ones because a lot of times yeah. people don't go to the big shows yeah, yeah. you know and the smaller and ones they different. just want to be able to take people pictures. were like oh. finally i got this i remember this guy was like i can't believe i took a picture with lizette it's like you know i've seen her so many times I finally here in Havana took a picture with his ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. they loved it. They loved it. They loved it. Because a lot of times in the venues, those big venues, they don't get a chance to, no. you know, take pictures. Or if not, you know, you're so far from the crowd that you can't mm-hmm. even feel that their energy, you know. Um yeah. so I like to do and I don't do them often. Like with you, I was like, let's just, you know, I hang out with you and I know you. So I said, let me just yeah. go hang out and it'll be like one of those nights. Yeah. And it worked out. I think I thought it was cool it was and I hope to do a few more like intimate things like that and do like a Q and A, yeah. Uh, and then just talk to people and you know I know they have questions you know yeah. so I'm all I'm all ears I'm open. Let's do it. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Yeah. Vamos a ver lo que sucede. Without- yeah. Man. So I'm excited for this record. It comes out December 15th. I also have a salsa record coming out, um, which is mastered already. But I'm you know we're walking very cautiously with that because yeah. that's an entire different animal i hadn't done salsa since i did in 1998 with sergio george yeah. and it's been a while yeah. so i'm i'm working on different sides of me um and i'm i'm hoping you know my my fans and my family follow i did hear the rumor on the salsa yeah heard, man so i, I got his... i'm quiet so yeah. i got I when, heard, you, when you when you I don't heard. hear much from me on facebook or yeah. Social media is because I'm up to something. You I know, can't I wait. can't sit still for too long. I can't wait. To and I like you. trying different things. You know, that's what keeps you going. You know, you got to step outside your comfort zone. So I like to do that. Can't wait to hear the salsa. I already heard the rumors. Like some musicians were talking about it. And uh, 
Yeah, nope. so it's gonna be good. But this one here, I'm hoping it gets me into that, you know, into that that feel, that whole club circuit, which is a, a con entirely different animal. Um, and Tony Moran is with it. You know, he's into that. The the venues that he does are great venues as well. So I'm hoping he's you know, all he over the world. The hotshot vocal. Yeah, he DJ's all over the world. It's like yeah, that's uh, yeah. you know, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Let's get into the MDW one. version. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This one is produced by MDW. Check this out. Liz. Put me on this. Throw the 
Took it to the next level. He did his thing on it, man. That's why Mike, I, was like, I can't fuck around with the vocal. Mike, <laughs> you killed this record, my brother. What you did. Yo, he dissected this record. Shouts going out to MDW Crespo. You murdered it, my brother. That melody that you did, that... That shit was crazy. He took it there. Yeah, MDW, he does. great he's job. A, he's a talented dude, man. And it's hard to find that connection, um, that chemistry, you know, with the right producer and with the right person that's going to get certain things out of you. And I push him and he pushes me, you know, like, ah, you could do better. You know, I'm always like, let's do this. Let's do that. And he's, he's creative and he pushes me and gets things out of me as well. Like with this track, he was like, go diva, you know, go big, go, you know, you're acting, go act. And but, I was like, okay. Yo, he, you know, so he that's like, why it's fun. You know, this was perfect. He did the greatest production right here on this record. Like, my favorite, my favorite yeah. production that he's done so far is this one right here. I'm like glad he I'm really glad. took it there. God bless MDW Crespo. Wow. Whoa. Love it. Love thing. it. Love he it. He did his thing. He did his thing, and I'm proud God to bless. be part of it. Um, and I'm, it's good because y'all always, you know, y'all, y'all, you know, you got a connection with him. That's the whole thing. So, you know, what I'm saying you guys, uh, you guys really, really did a great job here. Really Thank love you. it, love it, Thank love you. it, love it. So, well, I'm, I'm glad you're debuting it, and I gave it to you because I know you're gonna play it from the heart, yep. and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna give me the truth. Um, you're gonna give it a chance, and you know, the people decide as well. You know, I, I guess you know it's a matter of letting people hear it and seeing how they vibe to it. Um, we played it in a club like a month ago or so, just to get a little vibe, and it was killing it you know it was just the way it felt out there and people were just dancing Feels to great. it like they knew the record um without the vocal even before the vocal kicked in the track itself was just so it was thumping so yeah i'm excited i'm happy i'm happy about it so dope so dope so dope so dope thank you thank you thank you so, so you, it is december 15th thank you for having, you for having me tonight you know i know you're busy dude too you're doing yeah. your thing and you need to do a remix on this too you know <laughs> Let me tell you something. I love Michael's version, and I'm skeptical of touching things that I love. You get me what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. If I hear something one day, I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, I I did tell you about it. But you know what's crazy? That this is the first time I really hear the mixes. I like doing that because I like to be surprised the way I am now. You know, so it's like I heard the beginning of Mike's mix, but I never heard it. I really, this is the first time I hear it. Love it, love it, love it. You hit it out the park with this one. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But Lizette, thank you for always showing up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, this is our December 15th. Uh, hot shot, Lizette Melendez. Give it up for the girl. She is always showing up. My sister, I will see you. Well, I'm going to be in New York uh, New Year's. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be, I get there actually the 24th of December, and I'm going to be all the way there to like the 3rd. So we definitely, 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 uh, I'll give you a call when I get up there, see uh, if you and Rex come out and hang out. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. All right? Well, th thank you for the love. You know, don't be a stranger. When you're in town, hit me up. You know, we'll go support and hang out with you. Um, 
And listen, everybody that's watching, listening, thank you guys for supporting me all these years. And I hope, you know, 2023 is going to be a good one and a that's healthy right. one. Give it up for Lizette okay. Melendez. Guys, thank you for joining us tonight. So, check what's happening. This is what's happening on New Year's. Coquito Blue. That's what's happening on New Year's. Coquito Blue. Um, I'm going to be at the Copacabana as well that Friday. I'll be in Copacabana. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, this upcoming Saturday, I will be at the district. The district in St. Petersburg. District in St. Petersburg, 1572 Central Avenue, right next door to my place, the Cuban. I'll be DJing there, Noches Latina. Flon de Caña is going to be there doing a promotion. Get your drink on. Come visit me this Saturday. Tampa, Florida. St. Petersburg, I'm here. Then, of course, February 3rd, level 13. Then I'm jumping on that cruise. I jump on that cruise on Sunday in Orlando, Florida as well. Don't forget the toy drive, Blend Junkies. This Friday, the toy drive. Do not forget that. And of course, do not forget my boys, DJ Smiley, DJ Casper at Havana Cafe this Thursday. And yo, guys, Radio City Musical, look at that lineup. That extravaganza is going to be crazy. Lisa Lisa Mace, Tone Loke, TKA Montel, Jordan Slick, Rick, George Lamont, CC Peniston. Nice and smooth, Judy Torres, So Sonic Force, Cynthia, The Cover Girls, Black Sheep, Suave, and DJ Cool. Brought to you by ATC. All right, guys, I'm out of here. God bless y'all. Peace.